So I just um, finished watching Don't Drop the Mic with Bishop T.D. Jakes and Stephen Furtick. And they just have a crazy chemistry, like God-led chemistry. It's, it's magical to watch them. So I was really excited about um, seeing them together again. And it was just such a powerful message that I would really encourage anyone who is on a path of trying to understand, especially watch i mean it's just it's 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 so phenomenal that i know i'm going to watch it a couple of more times and i know that each time that i watch it i'm going to get something else out of it so i want to encourage you to to do that but just understand that when you are on a path especially a path of purpose self-discovery that you will always carry the burden of doubt like you don't get to a place where the doubt just goes away. You will have doubt because that's we're human. We're a spirit in a vessel, but that vessel is is gonna have doubt. And so the idea is not that you are looking forward to the day that you don't have to worry about that anymore. It's that you understand that that doubt, that fear. It's all part of the process and it's going to lead you to something bigger. That all of the journeys, all of the barriers, everything that happens, happens um, in accordance to helping you get to that next step in your journey. So it's not removed per experience. Like It's not like, oh, I invested 20 years in this and I got it, so now I don't have to worry about it. That's not how it works. It's life. It gets all of us. And so to hear Bishop say that he gets scared and that he critiques himself the same way that I critique myself after I do a video. Like that's wild because he is a phenomenal force. He's such a phenomenal force that you just assume that he has gotten to this place where he's, you know, almost like subhuman or half, you know, God, half mortal type situation. But it's, it puts into perspective how hard we can get on ourselves when the reality is that we're all in the same space together. Like no one is exempt from what you're going through and that frustration when you're trying to pursue your dream, right? And, and Bishop mentioned in the sermon, I can't remember which sermon, that if you see someone in that forefront know the struggle that they had to deal with behind the door that you never saw and will never hear. <laughs> and that is reality. That's the reality, that it is a struggle. It's, it's working at it on a regular basis and being intentional about working on it. And making sure that in the morning, if you know that you are about to go into a space that doesn't feel your spirit the way that you want it to, that you're intentional in your affirmations and your messaging before you get to work. Maybe this ain't the time to listen to, um, you know, hip hop on the way to work. Maybe you need to listen to a podcast. Maybe you need to listen to a Wayne Dyer, you know, um, on manifesting your destiny. Like you have to be responsible and accountable to that. That's on you. That's on you. And then the universe will support you from there. But you have to, you have to want it. And you have to work at it. But it's okay. Because we all, we're all doing the same thing. And it's going to be okay. For all of us. I'm telling myself 